Hey guys, my name is Cidiac and welcome back to an episode of Snowfall here in City Skylines where today we are continuing the expansions of the brand new industry that we built in last episode. We pretty much got to the point where we had uh, the infrastructure laid out. We set up a couple of mines which are actually mining. We are making a little bit of profit but not really that much. We built an import export area and what's left to do right now is get it all connected up to our brand new cargo harbor We need to add the road in to allow a road connection uh, And we also need to add in more mines more of the production buildings are turning into a higher quality and more higher valuable product And just build the industry up a little bit more Guys if you're excited and are enjoying the series so far then make sure you smash the like button down below if you're under in here, make sure you do subscribe so you get notified when more episodes do come out. But welcome back to Snowfall. And here we are, boys. This is what we did last episode. Quite a lot of infrastructure work, my ad. We added in two brand new connections to the highway, which uh, are being used by a few vehicles. Not really much need for them to be used right now. We added in and connected the train line, which goes underground. And I'm liking the kind of addition of sinking it. Uh, it kind of matches like the highway style. Goes underground here, back up into here now this is technically being used only via trains we do need to connect a road connection up to it uh, we got our import export area just over here and these are the only mines now last time i checked this we're making a little bit of profit which we still are but we need to push it to the next level and start making metals and some sweet sweet glass so first things first and i think we should kind of connect the road up that way this building can get serviced and then it won't even ev eventually then won't go offline in that kind of uh, regards so i want to build something very similar to this road coming down goes all the way around one way system straight in skadoodled caboodled uh we're all we're all good boys that's what i want to do but because this is flipped you kind of got to come in this way and then skadoodle out that way if that makes sense yeah i think that makes sense right so what i'll do then um and i believe i'm using the uh double one-way system raw road which i might I might. Oh, what's happened here? There we go. Move you over. Uh, I might um, unhook this and upgrade it to be the same. So if I go to about, if I just go here first, keeping this to the ground. Uh, how far did I move down? I actually went kind of all the way, didn't I? I could probably do the same with this, just for the funsies. So if I came and matched that six there, and then we came down here with this. So just matching it for now, but what if I kind of made them go in here to go round and back out? I think that would be quite cool, wouldn't it? Right, so let's do a 5 by 5 Right, and then if I do a straight piece that will connect to here. So if I just go for a If I just go for that there, how far off are we on this bend? A 7. So in reality, I need to go by 2 My 7 is a 5 by 5 And connect in this is quite cool. I'm liking this idea. So to there is going to be a 10. So if I do another 5, then we should just be able to hit them with the 5x5 five five bends. 5x5, five 5x5, five, five five. shebang straight in. Glorious. Now the only problem is, it's decided that it wants to kind of do these elevation changes. So if I went from here to here... They should be the same height. I mean, it's not great, but, you know, it, I suppose it is what it is. I suppose it is what it is. Uh, I can try and smoothen it off a little bit. I could also lower it as well to the actual height that it needs to be. Yeah, I'm going to have to lower it to the height it needs to be. So let me just quickly select all this then. So, selecting the roads... Oh, that, whoa, what happened? that was some serious lag then, boy. There we go. Same object height as the key wall. Easy. Too easy these days, boys. Too easy. Right. Can I... Here we go. Flatten all this. The OCD's kicking in, guys. Got to take care of it. Got to take care of it. Uh, yeah. And, uh, and we kind of need to technically lower this a little bit as well. So I'll lower it down... That's about right there. Perfect. And we will unhook the road just to make it all kind of match. So, unhook. Bam. Bam. Which means then I should be able to upgrade this. And flip it that way. Perfect. 
So now we're going to bring this road in and do this little kind of kind of triangular system to get them all connected. So we're using the four lane road and we're going to bring this right down. And I reckon we'll bring it just to about there, right? There should be fine. Rural, we do this. We do that. A little bit of a shebang right now. See if I can do it um, something a little bit different than the transition. So if I went like wiggle that like that, but you can't get this to do it. Oh, actually, oh, you could, you could, you could. There you go. It's not perfect. It kind of goes funky when you zoom out. But it works. It's. <laughs> I find it hilarious that I'm forcing them to drive all the way around, but is what it is, boys. Is what it is. Now, I wonder how many vehicles will actually use this one as opposed to that one. Because they are quite close by. But this one's hooked up to the train line. So, I'm going to assume, you know, I mean, but then again, I've only got this on the train line at the moment. So, yeah. We'll see what happens. Are there already vehicles on the way? Are they service vehicles? No, they're actual cargo vehicles. Interesting. So, we could change the import-export landscape quite dramatically. Right, anyway... Let's work on this then. So I've got a little bit more money now in the bank, so I can afford a few more buildings. And I think first things first, we need to create the buildings that produce the metals and the glass for our industrial area. So go to the ore industry. If I scroll right down, I want to go for the big boy buildings because obviously I want to make the most amount of money. Uh, these are the big boy buildings, boys. So this fiberglass plant, and then we also have the rotary kiln plant. Uh, huge. Absolutely huge they are. This one squeezes in quite fine in the smaller areas. But this rotary kiln plant, oh my goodness me. We are going to have some fun with this, aren't we, boys? So if I place one here, and then I place one literally opposite it, like that. So we've got two double boys in right now. Can I squeeze any more in? It's all about placement. Uh, not really within this vicinity. There's still places elsewhere I can kind of pull it. Uh, I might have to kind of delete some stuff just to kind of try and squeeze it in. But I don't want to delete too much and kind of lose what I've got. So I might delete this road here and delete you. To push you further oh, to there. Not saying that that's going to be able to squeeze. No oh, actually, we can squeeze one of these in. All right, throw you just there. Oh, it moved at the last minute. Did you spot that? There we go. So three of those large, lot, super large uh, kiln plants now in. So we'll, go, we'll only go for three of them. So I don't want to push it too much. And then we'll get... So how much do they produce? They produce 6,400. These also produce 6,400. So we get three of the fiberglass plants in. Which, these are a lot smaller, so I don't need to worry too much about these. Well, why does the game lag like that when I try and build? Um, I'll place this one. I'm trying to also space them around orderly. So that we're not causing too much traffic chaos. Because all the rest of the room is all other types of industrial. Storage buildings, worker barracks and all that. So we've got three of each. And I think that's the maximum we'll push to for now. We'll try and squeeze in some worker barracks. Oh, we need the maintenance building first. Right, where can I throw the maintenance building? Do you know, I'll throw it just there. I'll back it onto just here. The maintenance building. Fills all now a part of it, doesn't it? Oh, did I not water this area? Oh, I didn't. How very foolish of me. How very foolish of me. There we go. Has the water. The power does spread. And all they need now is their resources. But let's bulk this area up a bit more anyway. So worker barracks is there. We can fit these little worker barracks in all the little nooks and crannies. And they'll kind of like fill up some of the, the, the dead spaces that you don't really want. Too much going on with. So I'll do a double there. I'll do a double just here. So that's a couple worker barracks down straight away. 
I've got to be careful I don't spend too much money. You know, that, that is quite an issue. I don't spend too much cash. So we do need to also increase our acquisition, otherwise they'll start importing it, and that's never a good thing. So we need to build a few more bides, boys, a few more bides. So if I come also, so is this by 11, by the way? It is. So if I come off this by an 11, and just do my 10 there, and then move this down by 10, like that. Um, I want to try and connect this in as, as a bend. So that's where we're running with this. Can I do it on a larger scale? 31 by... Oh, that's perfect. Absolutely perfect. Just so I can come off this right now and like build additional mines. So, still like the idea of the large ones. I'm going to come off this a bit more as well. And I'm going to go for a 20 by 20 bend going directly up. And then run this so far down. Try and build a few more additional mines within here. So, we'll go for the large boys over here. So, I'm going to go one there. What kind of space do I need between them? I did a two. Oh, I'm running out of money. Okay, I'm running out of cash. Alright, pull that across. Power-wise, we'll get a connection. Right, I've got to ease up a bit, guys, because I'm running out of cash. But as we uh, expand right now, we're going to try and get more acquisition of the actual mines and ores themselves so we can produce. Now, for this area, the only export area right now is over here. So these guys might just technically drive because it's quite a short distance unless I build another import-export area in close by. That could also be quite a, uh, quite a big help. But we'll see how it goes for now. I don't want to push it too much. Uh, so this is now all done and dusted then. This is all now sorted. Ships are going in and out. And we're making 10 grand a week. Which is uh, pretty pretty helpful. So how much are those uh, mines then? They're 35,000 big ones. Okay, we'll hold out for that for just a moment. Now, we've got a huge residential demand. I'm going to assume... Yeah, we could get a lot more people in. So, let's add some additional to the population. We'll do a little strip just going down here of the high density. Not too much. We'll go to about there. And then the rest, we'll get our trees in. Just here. So, spend a little bit of demand there. I'm not sure if it will utilize all of that demand. But we'll see how it goes. Are the parks still making big cash? That one is. Yep, the park's still making pretty good dollar bills. Good stuff. So, still not quite up to par with the acquisition, so we're going to need a fair few more uh, mines coming in. So, a little bit of a fast forward, mate. Get the money rolling into our bank. And I don't think we're making any profit yet, are we? No, not yet. Because we've got to feed them. I also need some storage. I don't want to build the storage yet until I've got a little bit more higher acquisition. Because as soon as you build the storage, they then want to fill it up. And we will see a vast amount of imports coming in. So, as we've got more coming in right now, we're going to add in a second mine. There we go. Oh, we have no power. Oh, don't tell me we were at our power limits. Yes. Yes, we are. Which is kind of annoying that they didn't tell me otherwise. <laughs> Because it's so expensive to get this in. Right, now we're going to have to wait for some serious cash. What I could do in the meantime is maybe up the taxes to 10%. It's not something that I like to do. I like to encourage my city to grow with a low tax rate. But at times of need, you just have to do what you've got to do. I don't want to get a loan. We'll just do it naturally. We'll do it all naturally. So, ups my bank account ever so slightly, and we'll get in an additional power cell to maneuver forward. Because we're going to need it. Uh, so, I could afford something like these guys here. This produces 40. This produces 120. Uh, or I can get another solar, but that's obviously... You know, 
vindictive on what the current climate is like. I could get nuclear, which is expensive, but it does produce a lot of power, though, so that would last for quite some time. They should tell you in the game price per output, like how much this costs a week versus how much it outputs, so I can find out how much, you know, I pay per megawatt. That would be nice. I could just get another solar updraft, 240. Nowhere near the same price. We'll just build one of these puppies. There we go. Expensive, but that should see us through for quite some time. So now we have uh, the power. Sufficient power, I should say. Okay, sweet. So, now back to the expansions then. We're going to bring this coming up. This road here. And we're going to do some sideway mines. Some sideway mines, boys. Some sideway mines. And we'll go with the... Should we go for the large undergrounds? So... I can take this quite far. I'm, I'm, this, this will actually look, look quite good. We have it staggers itself in. So, bam, and then I'm gonna try and go for another four. Why go for a five there? Another four space. I like how it digs into it because then you get that feel for. This is actually a mine. Alright, I'm using the move it tool. We're going to raise it slightly. I'm going to raise the road slightly. I'll do the... Uh, the gradient. I'll set the slope mode on this. there to there a little bit easier for the mines and I'll terraform that uh, a little bit later let me just run this up there we go so more coming in um, which is that that's enough acquisition at this point I mean 110 tons versus what's going in but it's still not enough oh we're making good cash no wonder my weekly's gone up quite high. But I still want to push it a bit further anyway with these mines. Still want to push it a bit further. So we'll then come off this small one here. I'll then come off just here. Push this further up. And then we'll come off one just there. And this is going to be a pretty good mining industry. I'm already, I'm already liking the look of this. I'm already liking the luck. So if I do a four, a four, and a four again. Very good, boys. Very good. Just got to make sure I've got enough cash and I don't overdo it. We'll change the mine up as well. We'll go for some smaller ones. So if I go for one right at the end there, do a two gap and one just there. And we've got these medium ore mines as well. Which one as far up as I can. And then we go for a, a smaller mine just here. And I reckon, boys, that's as far as we're going to take it. I reckon that's as far as we're going to take it. That actually doesn't fit within this vicinity at this point, does it? What if I threw it over on this side? No, I feel like that's pretty weird now, isn't it? Alright, move these. And I'll reposition these bad boys. Over here. And then we'll move these mediums. Review right there. Okay, we might have one too many. Yeah, there's definitely one too many on that side. Unless that goes in there. Hmm. 
Nah, it doesn't feel right. Honestly, it doesn't feel right, that. Okay, that feels a bit better. But I'm still not liking it. I think we stick to, like, this. I can terrain it. Maybe put some storage in here. Or what is the smallest... Is there a smaller mine I can go for? No, I can build some worker barracks, couldn't I? Kind of like to fill the little gaps there. Right, that's as much as I want to do, because I'm spending an absolute fortune right now. On this area. Absolute fortune. It has all the power. We're all connected. We could just do with some, ter like, terraining right now. Just kind of, uh, we'll, we'll first start with smoothing. Just see what we get out of smoothing in it. Before we commit to uh, proper landscaping it. So don't mind the rough and jagged edges. Because that's what makes it feel like a quarry to that certain extent. Do you know what? That actually turned out pretty well. So I don't mind this. This is actually uh, pretty handy. So, okay. That's a lot of acquisition right now. I think that solely can fill some storage units. And these should consistently be getting the product. So we're going to build a couple of things right now. We're going to build some storage. Uh, I'm hoping that these can fit. Okay, it's a little bit too big. Okay, you could be ideal, even though you're also quite large yourself. So this is actually a, an ore industry storage. Okay, so that will be perfect for filling. Uh, a little bit too big going down there. Same for down here, but that's fine. Do I squeeze in one there? I think having one will be perfectly fine. And then I'm going to want a couple of little warehouses nearby. Now these are obviously for the products that we create within here. So I'm figuring, I'm trying to figure out where the best position for these to go would be. Or do I have it stored more locally like over here somewhere? Like, I could have one there, and then one just here. Just slightly out the way. Near imports and exports. And then, I want glass in the one. Metals in the other. And we'll see what happens. It could be that that's a terrible idea, having it stored over there. I think it could be a terrible idea, having them stored over there. Well, I'm going to have that one right next to there. Will that be too funky just here? Because I don't think these, these pollute ground pollution. So while we do have these little gaps... Okay, they do produce ground pollution. I was going to try and squeeze in some trees. Up that strength quite high. Well, obviously, with the grand pollution. I'll right, bring the strength down. We'll fill like this for now, because obviously we will eventually throw more buildings down. I think this is pretty cool. And we'll go quite light in some of the other areas. Just a couple of trees down. Maybe more dense there, and then push it back. Nice, mate. Nice. So that is a lot. A lot of industry right now. And the place is hustling and a bustling. 
So, we'll let it just kind of tick along, and as time goes on, I've left room for additional cargo areas. So if I want to run another train line within this area, there's, there's room to add one in. If this uh, harbour here becomes overloaded, there's definitely space here to stick a roundabout on if needs be, which I can probably see something like that eventually, you know, actually happening. So it's worked out pretty well. So this place is making uh, some nice little cash, some nice little weekly profit. Does need a lot more workers, which I don't have because I don't have enough people living here. So while that now happens, I reckon what we should do is also think about doing this road infrastructure so I can start expanding the city this way. So this road infrastructure then, we have, we, we're technically going to have uh, multiple four lane roads. Right, if I come off this here and come off, let's say, just down to there. Because I've got this road sticking out here, I also have this road coming out as well. So I've got that road there, that road there, so there's two there, and there's two here. Now, in what way would these make sense to kind of connect? Because I can utilize this as like an outer ring road that maybe comes down, bends, and runs into there. Unless I brought this down to turn into here, this one cuts through them both, then to go down to that one. So we do two loops overlapping one another. That could actually work out. It just, just depends on where you have it kind of connected. So if I came out, I mean, what are we already out by? A five. So if I did a 95, I know that that whole length there is 100. And if I bought, I mean, that's, is that then way too gritty? I think it could be. And also I've got to try and connect this up as well. So if I brought this down 40 and then had a connection that went into there. I'm going to bring this a little bit further in. Uh, delete this back by one. So where would the cross cross over applesauce be here? So try that again. Twenty by twenty. So if that happened there, that road's gonna kind of wiggle up. I'm gonna have to kind of reclaim some land. Uh, to connect to there, which will then shoot directly up into here, which this will kind of bend, wiggle and bend in. Because I don't want it to be completely straight up grid, if you know what I mean. But then again, do I have another connection that goes this way into it as well? So there's like multiple connections coming off this one. No, we'll have side roads that come off it, so that will be fine. That would be fine. Now I reckon I'm also going to stick out this out by another 20 here. There we go, to get that to wiggle in, and then to eventually connect into this. So it's not just so plain and so boring. So connection-wise here, we are going to... Do I freewheel it right now? Is that elevated? It felt like slightly elevated then for a second. So that's definitely interesting. I don't know whether I try and create a little bit of a straight bit coming off there but then again it makes technically no sense um now yeah, we'll go with that something a little bit different isn't it something a little bit different and then for this to here so we'll go like that because you get like a, a, that, that slight segment there which is straight and now this is going to be a big swoosh, isn't it? But it doesn't have to be a swoosh. Because again, I can have a straight segment there to work with. Oh, I'm liking this. I'm actually liking this. Now, this is interesting. I just want to... I'm not going to obviously commit to it. I just want to see what they suggest. Do you know what? I might go with that. I'm going to go with that right now. I know technically it kind of reclaims some land. But if I do it like that, I can then select you, pump you out, and then just technically reclaim some of this land. I don't want to ruin the, uh, the area too much. 
So claim from the bottom. So we can push this seabed out quite a bit. So from the bottom. Very gently. And there we go. So it'll be like nothing even changed. That's how sweet this will be. Smoothing this area off here. Same with this. Smoothing all this off. And there we go. So we don't really see much of a change. And that's pretty sweet. We're gonna we're gonna have a, definitely gonna have a roundabout here, obviously. But this works out quite wonderful. These it starts to feel like more of a, a sprawling city at this point, apart from the fact that we're now flooding the place. But we we can now start to see the sprawl happening. So road connections from there to here, obviously we'll have little side roads, very much like how we have it going through there anyway. But yeah, this should all work out. Oh my goodness me, I am flooding the city so bad. That's actually quite a lot of water. That's actually quite a lot of water. Oh no! Alright, it's okay guys. I mean, it's not like it's minus temperatures where the water's going to freeze, right? <laughs> Getting hit by an ice tsunami. Oh no. Right. Uh, water. Bam. Oh no, water availability is low. Ah. Right, I have got to build a water treatment plant at some point. But for now, we're just going to build these. And hopefully it kind of supplements us for a little bit longer. Right, now the water is going to go into the highway and create a canal. Oh dear god. What have I done? What have I done? I'll tell you what I've done, boys. I've created a road layout. <laughs> right, while that does all that jazz anyway, we'll see if we can do anything in terms of building some type of a, uh, a connection. So we've come off here by 11, obviously. So that goes down to there. So that... Right, if I come out by a 20, a 10, straight down is a 21, but obviously we do a 10, which is the then the 11. Down to there is a 89, so minus 11, which will be 79, 78. Right, we're just going to go like this for now. Just so we know where our uh, connections all lie. We'll try and do a couple of connections here as well. So if I came out here by year 11. So we can have that run into there. Or join some type of connection there. But you can see how it's all going to play out. So that to there. That's what you're going to bend. So hopefully this will kind of swing into that. So you, you kind of create your, like the outer ring. And then you bring it all in the middle. And this is where I slowly... And even though it's going to be slightly gritty in some areas. This is where I want to slightly come away from the grits. So we, we kind of... A little bit more gritty here. Then we transition out. Like how we transition out over on this bit. We'll probably start seeing the transition happening from this road to the left. If that makes sense. Right, there's a lot more roads now, which means we need a lot more snow dumps, I'm assuming, by the looks of it. So I bring that down to there, and then let's just kind of... Straight down is a 31, so obviously a 20. Uh, bring you to there. And I wonder if I can kind of create... So a 16... By 16, glorious. Now, the connection tool hasn't got rid of any other zone, has it? Or is that the only one that it kind of slightly got rid of? I think it was just that bit there. Right, good, 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 good. Connections all in. And... Twenty-seven by twenty-seven. Voila! <laughs> Voila. Right, that's just... I mean, we're going to have the underground passages on both sides as well to connect. 
So that running down to here is a 30. So I got my full 30 shebang just there. And we'll run this. So that's 99. So I'm looking at an 80. 89, 88. Yes, perfect. And we'll just bring that up to there for a minute. So we then got to figure out where we want our little connections to kind of take place. So if that there is an 88, so if I left it as a, if I did a, I'm trying to separate quite evenly, a 30, then here I did a 30. Well, obviously, get rid of that because that's space by a nine. Now, we've got two connections that cross this road via the road. And obviously, we'll have two connections here cross underneath because we'll have a roundabout there. And then a, a connection over under here that crosses underneath as well, just like this. And obviously, we have ones going that way as well. So, you got to remember the underground passages we've got for the roundabouts. To, there's more connections in these areas than you assume because the way we're going to have it all set up. Uh, I'll probably build a small little park within here as well. Build a community around it. Oh, this is exciting. I'm loving this, guys. I'm absolutely loving this right now. Uh, oh, the extension of the tram lines. And then we're not far off building metro lines. Woo! I got a warm, fuzzy feeling inside them, boys. So, um, I'm going to build this area up here a little bit of high density. So, what I'll do here... Is I'll just naturally run it like this. There we go. And we'll fill it up with high density. Just for now. Uh, we'll make sure it's got a little bit of water. So if I go across by... It was 22, right? Bam, straight up. Oh, that's a 21, but it doesn't really matter. There we go. Uh, it's going to need power. So if I just say, say I snapped it from there and took it straight into there for just a minute, that will give it the power. And then we'll ease the accessibility by setting up here our tunnels. So down by a 10. There we go. Do the same thing here. And then do this one as well. So you look, it's like it's like a it's like a an below ground roundabout next to an above ground roundabout. It's just another way to kind of let the traffic not have to interact with the four lane roads to get from one area to the other. And that spends pretty much my my hole in uh, residential demand almost. And just complements the area as it kind of progresses. So you can see where these expansions are now going to be taking place, which is quite exciting. Uh, this is now all filled up with ore, which is pretty good to see. And he's got loads of metals and loads of glass as well, so we could do some like unique industries uh, to kind of utilize those. Uh, it's all our own production, we're not importing a single penny, and we've got nearly 10 grand a week going out as additional uh, profit as well. Uh, we'll get more and more workers, which will eventually up the whole efficiency, you know, the kind of money we make, because there's more workers to actually work here and be more productive. But this is a pretty good, um, pretty good one. Look at how good the city looks from this angle. With the roads, got the highway tearing route, all the roads lead to the highway as well. Um, so, it's just we got to make sure that we keep on top of the traffic. Because we are technically a peninsula at the minute. So, you don't want to ruin it too much. And you don't want to overload the highways. As long as everything is built correctly, we shouldn't have any issues. I mean, we'll get some issues here and there eventually. But, 
Hopefully when we extend the public transport, that minimalizes a lot more vehicles, especially the metro line as well, because they're going to... Our, our trams are going like, you know, left up and down this way. The, the metro is going to go this, swooping this way in larger stops, so we'll be able to carry more, more people. Guys, I think we're going to end it for here right now. This is very, very exciting. Snowfall is going to look absolutely beautiful when we're done with it. It is actually going to be actually absolutely beautiful. <laughs> I love it. I love it right now. Things are on the up. We've got many, many plans for it. Many, many plans for it right now. So I'm very, very excited. Uh, ships are going out. We've got some sweet exports on the go. Where are we earning most of our money before we call it a day? So let's see. Industry terms. We're making 70% from the industry. Now, I think we're on a little bit of a downer right now because the money is kind of seeping out. Uh, uni... Wait, hold on. What is this? Warehouse and unit factories. I think this also accounts somehow for the ore industry. Because I have no unique factories. It's all warehouses. So they're selling the goods from the warehouses. Damn, we're making quite a bit of cash. 30% of our cash right now is coming from our industry. That's a lot, isn't it? That really is a lot. So you can see the income versus the outgoings right now. Very high indeed for our industry. Damn, that's a lot of cash. I'm quite impressed with that. I am quite impressed. So, we will end it for here, guys. Hope you did enjoy this episode. If you did, smash the like button down below. And until next time, I'll see you all soon. So, goodbye.